now welcome back my friends i hope you guys have been doing great i hope you guys have just been enjoying life or even if life isn't too enjoyable at the moment i hope you guys have been learning from that adversity and taking information from that pain now as you already know guys first off again welcome back into in the title of today's video is called my 90 percent rule and when i say my 90 percent rule you're probably thinking jay your 90 percent rule what the heck is this guy talking about? 90% to what? 90% until you beat this level? You got 90% battery? But I'm not going to lie. If you have 90% battery on your phone, you got to take a screenshot of that and send it to me because there's no way. On average, your phone battery is probably like in between the 50s on a good day. Usually it's like 30%. <laughs> but anyways, all jokes aside, my 90% rule is this. 90% of the time when you're in the process of working towards your dreams, or any type of goal or ambition that you have in mind, it's gonna suck. What? That's crazy, right? Hearing that, like, they always say, oh, chase your dreams, duh, 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 duh. It's so awesome, it's so great. And it is great, but a lot of people don't realize that what they don't tell you is 90% of the time when you're working towards your dreams, it's gonna suck. It's gonna be filled with a lot of tests, it's gonna be filled with a lot of doubt, it's gonna be filled with a lot of negativity, it's gonna be filled with a lot of despair, it's gonna be filled with a lot of anxiety. And it's going to be filled with a lot of time since so you're going to feel like quitting. However, if you can endure all of that 90%, when you step into that 10%, man, whew, that's going to be nothing but pure greatness. You want to know why? Because when you step into that 10%, because you endured all of that 90%, guess what? All the bad things happened in 90%. That 10%, that's the moment of achievement. That's the moments of fulfillment. That's the moments of success. That's the moments of you feeling, damn, I'm proud I did it. I'm proud of myself that I didn't give up. That's the moments where you achieve your dream. That's the moments where you look back on yourself and say, man, you know what? I'm really proud that I did that I didn't give up back then. And I'm proud of myself for who I become now. And that's making me even more excited for the type of future that I'm gonna create for myself. Because one of the main main goals in life is this. You wanna go and Work on yourself so much that you can create a past that you can be proud of in a future that makes you excited about the things that you could accomplish. That makes you excited about the rooms that you can step into. That makes you excited about the things that God has planned for you, man. Come on now. Because again, to hop back to that 90% rule, right? A lot of times you see all the success and the success. A lot of people think success is like a movie montage with Rocky and the Cream movies. Don't get me wrong. I love those movies they're amazing man i love the rocky series shout out to sylvester stallone but a lot of times success is not just oh you drink like a couple raw eggs you know get in the gym hit a, hit a little jabs real quick and then you, you get like you lift one log uh it's heavy boom no success is not a 10 minute story that's why oftentimes again a lot of people do end up quitting like let's say they're trying to work out or something or they're trying to uh, achieve something right and work towards your dream They'll go and they'll try it for one week. They'll try it for one week consistently though. They will do that, I won't lie. They'll try it consistently for one week. And I used to be a person that does this too. Well, I'll try something for one week, get boomed and quit. Because you gotta realize, right? You're not gonna see results after one week. You're not gonna see results after one month. You're not gonna see results after one year. I'm telling you, man, it takes at least like five years to start seeing results. What? Five years? Psh, I don't want to wait five years. But you got to realize, right? You have to wait five years because that's when you're going to see yourself at that peak. That's when all that pain, suffering, doubt, again, that 90%, that's when all that stuff is going to pay off, my friend. Because again, say it with me as, as we did in one of our previous videos, the pain will be worth it. Because during that whole process, right? Again, hopping back to that 90%, a lot of times it's not going to seem like it's worth it, but you got to remind yourself, the pain will be worth it. The only thing that stops people from achieving their dreams is that they don't think that pain will be worth it, man. Come on now. Because again, to hop back on that topic that I said a moment ago with that five years thing, right? Most of the time, again, you're not going to see results in after one week, one month, one year. It's going to take five years, dog. It's going to take five years because if you really think about it, if you were to put in work every single day consistently for a whole year, right? 
I'm trying to think of like the math with the, with the weeks and the months and all that, but however many months there are in a year and how many weeks there are in a month, if you go and do the math and you add it up, that equals about 2,080 hours, right? If you're working at like consistently for one year. Now, if you do that math times five years, what does that put you at? Over 10,000 hours. So matter of fact, you gotta be willing to put in your 10,000 hours. You gotta be willing to say to yourself that, man, if it takes 100 years, it's gonna take 100 years. Now, not saying that like in a literal sense, like 100 years, you might be dead. Like what? You might not be finished One Piece by then. That's plain, but it's a good anime though. But anyways, back to the topic at hand. If it takes 100 years, it takes 100 years, right? But I'm gonna give it, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna make it happen. And that's just the mentality that you have to carry yourself with on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to achieving your dreams, man. Honestly. Because achieving your dreams, you get, achieving your dreams is a very powerful thing that you have to do and you must do. You gotta make it your responsibility to make your dream a reality. Come on, man. Let me say that again for the one standing in the back. You gotta make it your responsibility to make it your dream a reality. You gotta make it your responsibility to make your dream a reality, man. Because honestly, when you're working towards your dream, man, your dreams will literally force you to get out of your comfort zones to make it happen. Your dreams will literally put, for, introduce you to great and new people that you can learn from and share from and gain knowledge from, man. So again, the whole message of this video is this, the whole title of the video is the 90% rule. And again, if you can endure that 90%, because success is not a little rocky movie montage. Success is painful, success has doubt, success has anxiety, success has despair, success hurts, man. Success makes you, success makes you wanna say, why did I even do this? Why did I even wanna do this? And hang on, something I do want to tell you guys real quick is this. When that why pops up in your head during that process, when you're enduring that 90% and that why pops up in your head like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this right now to myself? You got to be prepared to answer that question, right? Because hard times will make you forget your why. Oh my gosh, man, I've experienced this so much this year myself. Hard times come up, adversity strikes you in the face. Hard times will make you forget your why. But guess what? You gotta remember in those times, you gotta remember all, all the crazy stuff you have endured. You gotta remember all the pain you have endured. You gotta remember all the adversities in the past that you have accomplished, man. You gotta remind yourself that your God is greater than any adversity that could come your way. Come on now. Because again, hard times will make you forget your why. But you gotta remind yourself of your why to, make, to remind yourself and be like, man, I'm not afraid of this adversity in my face. You better be ready for me. Literally, bring it on. Come on now. But again, y'all, the whole title of this video is this. I mean, not the whole title. Pluh, brain just farted. The whole message of the video is this. Jay's 90% rule. If you can endure that 90% of all that suck, once you get to that 10%, my boy, my girl watching this video, that 10% is going to be worth it because that's when you achieve your dream. That's when you reach, that's when you reap what you sowed. That's when you reach, that's when you get to grab the fruit out of that tree and be like, man, all that, all those harsh winters, excuse me, all those harsh winters, it was worth it, man, because right now I get to harvest what I planted. It's all about planting those seeds, bro. And again, this is Jay So Positive signing out, you guys. And again, man, I love you guys so much, man. I really do. I truly, I love doing this. Because again, it's my dream to build this symbol of positivity for the people of this world to rely upon their darkest times of need. So we can, so we can expire. So we can expire other people to treat other people better, man. Because that's it. That's all we need to do. It's so simple to change the world. We just need to treat each other better. Because us, us humans, we make up the world. And it's up to us to come together Lock hands and say, hey, we're tired of this it, bro. It's time to make some change. And again, man, I've, I've been doing this YouTube journey for three years. Again, how I said that five-year mark. I've been doing this YouTube journey for three years. And stuff is just now starting to pick up a little bit. I just now got an actual camera. So again, with that, trust the process, dog. You guys got this, man. It's simple enough said. 
Don't let this be like, oh, like, yeah, it sounds nice to hear Jay talk about his stuff. No, let this be that fuel to the fire for you, man. Let this be that thing that it says like, man, you know what? Jay's right. Let me get off this couch. Let me go take my first step towards working towards my dream, man. I love y'all so much, man. And hey, remember, my friend, trust the process. You guys got this, man. Because guess what? If I can do it, if I can work on myself and work towards my dreams and ambitions and goals of what I desire in life, guess what? You guys can too, because I'm a human being just like y'all. I cry, I get mad, I have anxiety, I have doubt, but guess what? We're staying in the fight, because say it with me, y'all. It's not over until I win. Shout out Les Brown. Love you guys so much, man. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff. Hey, you guys have an awesome weekend, man. Stay safe, y'all. Peace.